The Dippany River is a, a beautiful river for this area of the state. Uh, it does have is very important uh, environmentally with uh, several endangered species of, of mussels that inhabit the river. It's also a very important for park visitors. A lot of people utilize it for canoeing and kayaking, for uh, river tubing on the river. It's very popular. It's, it, it's at times of the year it's very clear and, and easily to navigate. Uh, sports fishermen also enjoy the river quite a bit. We have uh, 23 miles of trails. 14 miles of those trails are a combination um, hiking and bridle trails. So horsemen and hikers share those trails. Eight miles of them are just for hiking only. Uh, all our trails range from, from moderate uh, to easy. Uh, we don't have any real difficult trails. Uh, we, it's, the soil is sandy and, and for the most part uh, very easily hiked. Our, our two nature preserves are, are quite different from each other. The Tippecanoe Nature Preserve is located in the river bottom and then the other nature preserve is called our Sand Hills Nature Preserve. It's away from the river, uh, more of an open environment uh, that would be considered a oak savanna area. We have two different places uh, that they can access the river. Our uh, canoe camp is uh, located halfway up the, the property uh, at our, uh, and that has a boat launch there that they can get on the river. Uh, they can paddle down from that point to the, the nature center area where they can get out. That is about an hour and a half. Uh, and there's also other access throughout the up and down the river where people can make longer trips, uh, both uh, upstream and downstream from the property. A lot of our campers, they, they, they come here and they, they enjoy the, the quiet and serenity of, uh, of Tippecanoe River State Park. Our campground is uh, 112 sites uh, of electric, uh, family campground. Our, our other camp, camping opportunities and overnight accommodations would include a horse camp, which is primitive, uh, our youth tent area, our group camp, uh, which is a unique experience with historic buildings, and then of course our rent-a-camp cabins, which we refer to as like indoor camping.